Please like this out. What up, peeps? It's time for our uh, second half of Heritage. 2019 Heritage Baseball Half Case Break number four right now. All right. Good luck, everybody. Let me put my headband on. Yep, let's put that on there. Oh yeah, ponytail activated. All right. Now, if you want to take a nap for like the next forty-five minutes, I don't blame you. As always, I leave the box toppers for last. Excuse me. How's everybody doing tonight? Good talk, everybody. Good talk. I love water. There we go, Storm Martin. How are you doing today? All right, so this is the first box of Heritage number four. Let's see what we got here. I think this is the purple hot box right here. Yep, here go the purples. They're not numbered or nothing. They just look nice. Lou Brock with the Cardinals autograph. Oh, low key right there. Very nice. Nice, Aaron. Any plans for the weekend? Because I won't be back until Sunday. I have Friday and Saturday off. That is 
a base short print. The Angels Black Parallel, which apparently is limited to about 50. Really, Aaron, that sucks. What do you do if you don't mind me asking? What's up, Chapman? How are you? I have the sudden urge to go to the batting cages. I'm doing well, Chapman. I'm doing well. You know, all things considered, I can't complain. Hoping to get some uh, nasty stuff out here from a from a fam, my Rip City fam. Shin Su Chu. Two nine 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 for the Rangers. A flashback. We need to random. You're going golfing. Oh, you work at a golf uh, shop. Nice, dude. I haven't gone golfing in like over a month, and that is not good. Everything I've learned is pretty much out the window. So I'm pretty sure next time I go golfing, I am going to suck. Massively. But I still want to go. Golfing's a lot of fun. And I, I just, I go to the range. I'm not good enough to, uh, to play 18 holes yet. That's what she said. But yeah. That's an action image. Reese Hoskins for the fillets. Don't believe me? Yep, code 124 to confirm that. Very nice. Action images seem to be like the most common. Dang, Chapman, that's not good. You gotta, gotta make some time, man. I, I recently picked up golfing. Like the, like the last six months or so. Self-taught, you know, I'm not taking any lessons. So I'll just go on YouTube and watch videos and try to learn that way. Or if I'm at the golf range, you know, some golfers will, like, give me hints here and there. For the most part, everybody at the club is pretty friendly. So, you know, I've been working on my game that way. Between work, raising nine kids. Damn, Chapman. Nine kids? Shit. I can barely take care of myself. Damn. Kudos to you, man. Oh, nice, Aaron. Nice. I would say get me an autograph, but I know you can't. I would love to get as good as... Uh, What's his name? Billy Madison, I think. Just walk on to the PGA Tour. That would be awesome. But I am nowhere near that level. Ten kids? Congrats, congrats, man. But dang, you got you got a basketball team. You're, you're about to have a football team. You have a 10-man rotation right there. You got a whole basketball team. One more, and you have a football squad. Just got to play, you know, all three facets. Offense, defense, and special teams. Eight boys, two girls. Oh, perfect. You, know, you can put the girls at wide receiver. You know. And, uh, and yeah, just let it fly. Dang, Aaron, like that? Yeah, I could see that. Those country clubs don't play.
The one I go to is a little bit ghetto. It's still... F <sighs> Excuse me. It's still a little fancy, but it's ghetto. Like, just certain things are, are a little ghetto. I mean, it's the it's a golf course in the middle of the hood, so it's to be expected. But I love it. They have like a sports grill, a sports bar grill in the country club. So you can go eat some chicken wings. You know, take a little break from, from, from the range. But yeah, I would like to go this weekend. A buddy of mine has golf clubs, so I can just borrow his. And I can get like 50 balls for like 9 bucks or something like that. Spend a decent half hour out there on the range. You know, take my mind off of things. That's fun. I like it. Have a good time. Greg, a Phillies fan, finally coming out to uh, show themselves. On a scale of 1 to 10, how happy are you? For the Yankees to 999, Mr. Chapman. You know which movie I saw for the first time since we're doing baseball? I saw Bull Durham for the first time ever uh, the other night. It's on Netflix. And I gotta say, it was okay. Steven Strasburg of the Nationals, the uh, Black Parallel. Matt is a Yankee fan. Smart move, Aaron. Smart move, because you probably would have got fired. <laughs> and he probably did have it. He probably did have the dank, you know. He might have been real cool and be like, yeah, bro, just meet me on the 15th hole or whatever. You know? That's a base short print. Bull Durham was alright. I still like Major League as like my favorite baseball movie. Sandlot's okay, I guess, too. There we go. Patch for Ben and Tendy of the Red Sox. Excuse me. Have I seen the natural? Have I seen the natural? No, I have not. No, I have not. Is that the is that the one with Dennis Quaid? <coughs> Excuse me. I should get some more water. Ah, that's the rookie. I haven't seen either of them then. Haven't seen the natural or the rookie. Or that Moneyball uh, baseball movie that I know is out there. I think Brad Pitt's in that one.
All right, let me go get some water real quick before I cough my lungs up. And nobody wants that. Yeah, buddy. All right, sorry about that. <clears throat> <clears throat> the Rookie and Money. I got to check both those movies out at some point. Major League is still probably always going to be my favorite, though. And the much less talked about sequel, Minor League. fan we got a Florida boy in the house by default I'm a Marlins fan since I live in Miami boy is from Pensacola still a Florida boy I've never been to Pensacola isn't Pensacola on the west side of Florida never been to the west side of Florida I, I want to go to Panama City Beach though which uh, which I know is up there by the panhandle This is box number three for anyone keeping count here. 
Go to Destin. I might have to check that out. Pretty sure that's an action image. And it is. Mookie Betts of the Red Sox. I'm at, funny you say that. I'm going to, well, it's not on the west side, but it's on the east coast. It's, uh, De it's I'm going to Destin. I'm going to Melbourne, Florida in, uh, in a couple weeks. Spend the weekend out there. Should be fun. <clears throat> Got a random that. I've never been to Melbourne, so it's probably more of the same. Beautiful half naked ladies everywhere. I love Florida. It's just a, a giant party. I don't know how y'all live on like in in, in those uh, cold conditions. I, I really don't like. I, I don't understand it. Anything under seventy degrees, uh, I'm looking for hoodies and my UGG boots. I cannot stand cold weather. That's a big short print. What's up, Joe Pop? Not yet. I've I've only been uh, I've only caught action image cards. You know, I do go ahead and double check them at the end of the night, though. For the Padres, Gary Neymar. Gerald Nyman, there you go. Can't really read that because I'm stupid. But shout out to good old regular font. Gerald Nyman autograph for the Padres. What's going on with you, Joe Pa? This is the second autograph we've pulled out of this so far. First one being a Lou Brock. That's pretty sweet. Matt, you're going to be in Melbourne in a couple weeks? Okay. I'm going to be out there the weekend of March 15th, I think. So if you're going to be there, holla at your boy. We'll go have a beer or something. For the Padres to 999, the rookie stars. There, well, yeah, man. You know, the the only way to really know for the error cards in this stuff is to, you know, some you can just look at them and be like, hey, that's a that's an error card. But really, is to look at the back of the card. So that's why we double, we actually triple check this stuff uh, <clears throat> before we actually send it out. I check it at the end of the night. I go through every single card. I check the back. I make sure that I pull. Any base short prints, error cards, and blah, blah, blah that I find. And my sorters do the same, and they, they check each other's work, so it's, it's essentially triple checked. Oh, okay, gotcha, Matt. Let me see. I'm going to be there... Yeah, 15th to the 17th. Oh, so by the time you get there, I'll be leaving. Well, that sucks. I'm going to be there Friday the 15th until Sunday the 17th. Should be a good time. I'm going to go meet up with a little uh, lady friend of mine. She uh, already rented the hotel room. St. Patty's Day anyway. Is Sunday St. Patty's Day? Mm. 
My man's gonna draft the Tampa for the Yankees spring training green, uh, game. Get me an autograph. Don't forget about your Uncle Jesse. The 17th. Nice. You know it, Blob. And then some. And then some. Check the store real quick. The first case of Heritage should be ready to rock and roll. Yep, number one's at five, number two's at 13, number three's at 20. We should be able to fill at least those three tonight. I think we can get it done. Not to mention, we got that sick promo going. Uh, on our site, four random heritage spots will be placed into a $2,500 break credit giveaway, which will take place on Sunday. But we do have to fill breaks in order to do that. So let's get to it if you haven't already. Two boxes left after this. No, that's Astros. That goes over there. <clears throat> Flashbacks. I think we pulled a hit out of this one yet. Hopefully an autograph. There it is. Old school. For the Red Sox, Rico Petrocelli. The on-card auto. Very nice. The guy's name is Americo? What the heck? Wow. I, I don't see it all now. There you go, Red Sox. A little hit for you. Hey, it's the birds. It is about that time of day that they come out to play. Same night every like, same time every night. Lester the Cubs to nine nine nine. All right, two boxes left.
Clock Stoppers I save for the end.